Okay, this is quick. I call this one factory warranty or factory uh, recall or factory some shit. Now, over the last two months, how many times has your cell phone rang and your warranty on your car may be up? You need to yada 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 call this company. You might, you know, get some factory warranty shit. Over the last few months, how many phone calls have you got from these people telling you a warranty or something has expired with something that you may or may not own on your cell phone? Have it comes to you? If you have, have you come to this conclusion that you have a lot of automated people calling your cell phone? Is that happening to you? It's happening to me. They call me and they tell me that the factory warranty on my car is expired. I bought my car used. I didn't fill out no fucking paperwork. I gave these motherfuckers some money and I left. Of course, I got the title and all that stuff. Wasn't like no underground deal that black guys who wear Pendletons and dark shades sometimes do. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's no nefarious plot when I get my automotive cars. So, isn't it funny how all of a sudden these automotive things that normally call your house, not just the cars, but your factory warranty on your TV and your warranty on your lawnmower and the warranty on your phone, your warranty on something, something that's expired and they have a tape recording calling your cell phone now. Is that happening to you? And when you answer, hello, I'm going to help you. I'm worldwide in this area code. I can't really get hello. Factory warranty on your car is expired. I told them a couple. I hit the button, the one number one button. Take me off the calling list. I've done this over a hundred times, and they still call me. Have you come to your? Have you, have you ever thought about maybe it's in the phone company's best interest? to give your phone number away to these people? Have you thought about that? Have you thought about how your phone number gets to certain places? Have you thought about that? Have you thought about what if the phone company did give these automated, you know, collection or insurance sales or these people, these these these, these telemarketers, what if what if the phone company did give them your phone number? Do you know what that would mean? When you answer the phone, wasting your minutes in your inbox, answering your phone, flood your minutes and your time to listen to all these messages. It used to be free. Better check and see if they charge you for that now. What if that's the reason why your cell phone is ringing and you ain't getting nothing but some weird, mysterious message? The warranty might be up on my car. I bought it used. One day I'm like, yeah, up the warranty on my car because the window on the driver's side won't roll up. So how long would it take for you guys to fix my car after I have to, hello? 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 Hit that button and try to take them up on this fucking offer and see what they got to offer. Because if they really don't exist, then why are they calling you wasting your minutes on your phone? Wouldn't it be in the phone company's best interest to give your phone number away? And I already told you that, um, AT&T is trying to charge me 200 and something dollars for migrating from AT&T to Singular and from Singular to AT&T. Remember, it was a forced migration. They want to charge me 200 and something dollars now. Because I early I early or that early terminated my contract with AT&T to transfer over to Singular which is now AT&T. It cost me 
two hundred and something dollars, and they're coming to collect their money. And all this shit went down in two thousand five. Interesting how this works. They told me I have forced to migrate. You have to migrate to Singular. You won't get any service. We won't have any services in the area. You have to switch to Singular. There won't be any service. By switching, I cut my contract short, thus early termination. Same phone number. Oh, 200 something dollars. Sunk to collection. Or send me to jail for $260. They give they give the state of California like $1,500 an inmate in the county jail. Send me to jail. Shit. Two days, they get three grand, and I don't owe you shit no more. Wait a minute. I still owe you money after going to jail, huh, wouldn't it? Double jeopardy. Punish me. for paying my bill and keeping your product. I'm going to be punished for keeping your product when you probably sold my phone number to these people who call me two to three times a day telling me about my auto warranty. Hello? What's up? Nothing much, baby. How you doing? Dressing. What's dressing? Hmm. Let me go check. Hold up a second. Gotta go take care of my nephew where family still counts. See you guys next time. You've been too. What dressing? 